Hi. Let's learn what it means to cook the books and give some examples of how companies do this to improve their financial results. Cook the books is a slang term for using accounting tricks to make a company's financial results look better than they really are. Typically, cooking the books involves manipulating financial data to inflate a company's revenue and deflate its expenses in order to pump up its earnings or profit. Companies can manipulate their financial records to improve their financial results using a multitude of tactics. Some companies don't record all of their expenses that incurred in a period until the next period. By recording a portion of Q1's expenses in Q2, for example, a company's Q1 earnings or profit will look more favorable. Many companies who sell their product, extend terms to their customers, which allows them to pay the company at a later date. These sales are recorded as accounts receivable since they represent product that's been sold and shipped, but the customers have yet to pay. The terms can be 30, 60, 90 days, or more. To help restore investor confidence, Congress passed the Sarbanes-Oxley Act of 2002. Among other things, it required that the senior officers of corporations certify in writing that their company's financial statements comply with SEC disclosure requirements and fairly present in all material aspects the operations and financial condition of the issuer. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission helps to maintain a fair and orderly financial market, which includes various financial reporting requirements for publicly traded companies. Companies can use credit sales to exaggerate their revenue. That's because the purchases customers make on credit can be booked as sales even if the company allows the customer to postpone payments for six months. In addition to offering in-house financing, companies can extend credit terms on current financing programs. So, a 20% jump in sales could simply be due to a new financing program with easier terms rather than a real increase in customer purchases. These sales end up being reported as net income or profit, long before the company has actually seen that income. Manufacturers engaged in channel stuffing ship unordered products to their distributors at the end of the quarter. These transactions are recorded as sales, even though the company fully expects the distributors to send the products back. The proper procedure is for manufacturers to book products sent to distributors as inventory until the distributors record their sales. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Cook the books is a slang term for using accounting tricks to make a company's financial results look better than they really are. 2. Typically, cooking the books involves manipulating financial data to inflate a company's revenue, deflate expenses, and pump up profit. 3. Companies can use credit sales to exaggerate their revenue while others buy back stock to disguise a decline in their earnings per share, EPS. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.